Hey everybody, give me one sec. I am just going to find out what we're drawing today because I did not see the, the comments from everybody before we got on. So give me one sec. I hope everyone's here. I'm excited to see everyone's drawings today. Um, Luna, you can go stand there and say hi. It's fine. Let me go see what... We got a few different things today. Uh, oh, that's drop, Luna. Dropped your pencil. Oh, you dropped my pencil. Oh no! All right, I'm waiting. This, this Facebook that thing is taking way too long. You have two pages of Forget. Facebook, on it, so I don't, I don't, I don't believe it. Yeah, well. You don't stand on the artist. You need to. Be I understand that. Get on the other side. Stand there so that you're all up there. Okay. New notifications from Lara and Chris Batista. Let's see what they have to say. I know it's about this. I'm live now. Go go in the window. Go in the window. Go in the window. Go sit there. Oh. And wave to people. Go tell people. Go, go, go. Hi. Because I need you, you there. So they know we're not like forgetting about you. Okay, let's see. Four comments and four shares. Do, do, do. And of course the comments just disappeared. Three replies. Hey, we got Lizard Man, T Rex. That's it. I don't know, guys. Okay, we'll. We'll, uh, we will do, well, since I have two requests for a T-Rex, one on an earlier one and then this one, um, I think we're going to go with the T-Rex. Although we did have a lizard man last week. <clears throat> that was a burp. Oh. No, someone oh. wanted a lizard man last week. T-Rex. That's it. Okay. All right. I don't know, guys. Okay, we'll I'm shut this off. Tech. You know. All right. You ready? Yeah, I got da, 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 da. Sorry, this took me a bit to get myself set. So, I think we're going to do a Tyrannosaurus Rex today, everybody. Can we do it as um, a time-lapse? As a time-lapse? Not really. So, first, I'm going to introduce myself. Hi, I'm Steve, and uh, this is Monster Art School with Steve Ellis and my partner. Stop! I was rubbing it down. Now it's down at my shirt. I wanted to see my face, Okay. Please get over here and sit down. <laughs> Thank you. This is my partner, Luna. It will be when we're done, but I wanted to make sure that everyone knew who we were. This is what's great about having someone staying at home with you and drawing with you. Yeah. Yeah, as we know. All right, so everybody get out their pencils. We're going to draw. I think we're going to, I hate to say it, Harry. I think we're going to draw a Tyrannosaurus Rex today, okay? Um, I hope Penelope is not too disappointed, but I think a Tyrannosaurus Rex is very different from the Lizard Man and the Dragon and things like that that we've done before. So I kind of want to, I mean, from the Merman and the Dragon that we did before. So I kind of want to try something a little different and we will get to Lizard Man maybe tomorrow. What do you think? Lizard Man tomorrow? Yeah. Okay. So here we go. So we have to start, I don't know. We have to start looking, we have to go back. We're gonna go back a little bit to our basic shapes. Remember our basic shapes, guys. We've got a cube. We've got a cone with, you know, a cone or with the tip taken off, right? We've got a cylinder. Please don't move the camera. We've got a cone and we've got our little happy sphere. So yeah, that's my, and this is the cone here looking up at the cone and that's looking down at the cone. This is looking down at the cone, looking down at the cone. So that way we know if we see that, if we see that, uh, what's that called? That circle, no, and it's not a circle. What's it called? What's that shape? Ellipse. If you see that ellipse, that means we're looking down at that, that object. So if we're looking at this side of the cylinder or that side of the tube, and if we're looking at the a cube, we know it's a cube because we can see three sides of it, okay? If you only see one side, it's a square. If you see two sides, it's nothing. <laughs> only when you see three sides does it become a cube. Right, Luna? Yeah. And then when we draw objects to make them feel like they're around, you make a line to make that ellipse, and then any line you put around it will go along the same way. Just like the, these lines wrap around your circle, okay? I mean your sphere, to make it a sphere. All right, so 
Let's talk about Tyrannosaurus Rex. And get out our brand new piece of paper. Oh wow, you threw all my pages on the floor. Thanks a lot, kid. All right, so. Tyrannosaurus Rex and Jake. Oh, Mila's in here. Hi, Mila. Hi. How you doing? So Mila has come. I don't know if anyone's watching this at all, but um, let me we'll find out. Check and see. Oh, we're reacting to my video. Okay, so Tyrannosaurus Rex. Well, one of the things about Tyrannosaurus Rex is that we don't actually know what the Tyrannosaurus Rex looked like because all we have are his bones. So. If we want to draw Tyrannosaurus Rex, we got to look at its bones. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to pull up a picture of a Tyrannosaurus Rex skeleton and see what we notice about this guy, about these Tyrannosaurus Rex. Now this one's known as Sue. Gotta get a lot closer to that. I will. This Tyrannosaurus Rex is known as Sue. Can you see that? Yep. Okay. Notice one thing about the Tyrannosaurus Rex. Look at how big that head is. Pretty big head, right? And look at how look at his rib cage. It's right here, or her rib cage is right there. And there's her hips, and there's her little tail, and there's her legs, and there's her little teeny tiny arms. See those little tiny teeny arms? Uh, yep. yep, little teeny tiny arms. Look. Yep, yep, just like Luna right now. And then see the Tyrannosaurus Rex feet down there. Now, one thing we notice about his feet, how many toes does he have, Luna? Three big toes. Claws. Well, they're toes. The claws are the pointy things at the end of the toes. Okay? You don't care? Well, I do. Well, I think the Tyrannosaurus cares. The Tyrannosaurus cares. You don't want to offend a T-Rex. Yeah, look at those teeth. So one thing we know about Tyrannosaurus Rex is that their teeth were like the size of a banana or bigger. Could you believe that? One tooth the size of a banana. It's like that long. No. Man. Hold on, you went out of focus and said okay. that long. They're big. They're longer than this pencil. Ooh. So imagine a tooth that big. Okay. And notice the other thing about their teeth. What shapes are those teeth, Luna? Can you tell me? Cones. They're cones. They're kind of like bent cones or triangles, right? Yeah. yeah. They're kind of flat, too. They're, They're not bananas. really cones. They're bananas. They got <laughs> banana teeth. Okay. So, whoops. Oh, we lost the picture. So, now we know that. Now, certain things we do also know about this guy here is okay i was just checking trying to get it so that's his nostril there Ooh, there that's his nostril that's his eye socket so his eyeball would be in there but his eyeball is really small from what we understand okay so his eyeball and his nostril are almost the same size it looks like no his his that's not his eyeball that's his socket oh sorry the socket no the socket's really big actually the socket's about twice the size okay oh i see there's a lot of shadows in there so, um, so now what we can learn from that is when you're trying to draw this, this guy or this girl is look at how big the head is compared to the rib cage. The rib cage is, the head is almost as big as the rib cage, right? Not quite, but almost. So let's start drawing. When we draw this, what we want to do is we want to think about how big our creature is. So I'm going to draw right from Sue. And I'm going to draw a line that goes from her tail, whoop, do like that, over her hips right here. All right. Now we got to move the camera, camera to see that. Okay. Also, uh, the way your light is shining. You can't see anything? It's hard to see. All right. Is that better? Uh, well, now I have to see your arm. Come on. Okay. Sorry, everyone. No, actually, that light is not making anything better. It's actually making it really well, bright in one corner. Drink there. Is that better? Uh, that should be better. Okay. I just noticed everything was looking yellow before, so I. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw up the back of her her tail in kind of an a backwards curve with the tip going down like that. We're going to go like a darker concave. Well, I can't get darker right now. And then up go. over the hip, right here. And then over her back to here, and then up to her head to there. So that's going to be where the head meets the neck, right in there. And then I'm going to draw a big old oval here. That was the word I was using for, not ellipse, but oval. I'm going to draw a big old oval up there, okay? So now we've got her spine. 
that we drew. And now we've got her head, the big old oval. And then, what? How is the oval old? Well, the dinosaur is over 300,000 years old. Uh, 300, yeah, 300 million years old. So it's so a How old is the oval? The oval's brand new. I just drew it. <laughs> now why did you so, say the old oval? Because I'm silly. I don't know. Alliteration. Alliteration, yeah. So now, what we notice here is we got to draw where her, her neck is going to be. And we'll do a big rib cage oval right there and that rib cage oval is just going to be a little bit bigger well okay about one and a half times the size oops of the head oval okay you're not drawing your ovals kid all right and then we know from modern day animals that if you've got a hip which she does that goes like this it's that big you're going to have a a leg that's going to be like this. So let's draw that leg in there down to her knee, which is almost right at the bottom of her rib cage here. Okay. And then her shoulder is this crazy clavicle kind of bone like this. And her arms come out, they're little dinky arms come out like this. <laughs> little teeny weeny nice, arms. Nice word, Dad. Dinky? You like dinky? No. Why not? What's wrong with Dinky? So right now I'm just putting little marks here just to just to see where everything is. And then I'm going to put, let's see, we go down. This is her knee here. Okay. And then we're going to go backwards from the knee. Good work, Luna. Backwards from the knee. And then we're going to go forwards from there. So probably that distance is about as long as here to there. That's about the same length. A little bit shorter than the distance between the knee and the back and the spine is going to be this length. And then we're going to do the same distance down to the ground like that. All right. And then for its for her back leg, maybe we'll put her back leg like put her knee there. We'll go back to her ankle. And then we'll have her three toes do 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 there. OK. Everybody with me? Everybody yell yay! What? Octopus with me. Great. Okay. Oh, octopus. Great. So we've got our dinosaur here. So let's see. Are you good on that? Okay. You're looking good, Luna. Looking good. Remember, don't draw too don't draw too dark too quick because once you draw too dark, it's harder to erase. I always like to keep things light. So let's go to the head, the big old head. So now what's cool about this is that we can see the inside, right? So we know that the top of her head, let's make her head a big triangle. From, so we'll go like this. Do, it's not really a triangle, but it's kind of a triangle. If it was a triangle, go out like this. It's a we'll right make it triangle. A, it's a triangle with a flat tip. Like a, it's like, like you that. cut the tip off like the triangle. Like you cut the tip off the triangle. Okay? And that's the upper head right there. And then the lower jaw, we'll draw... For this part of the lower jaw, let's do a nice oval there. And then I like to measure because we got to make sure that the mouth lines up with the jaw. So the lower jaw is going to come down to here. And I think I'm just going to make that a square for now. Oh, Dean Hatfield just joined. Hey, hey Dean. Dean. How you doing? Oh, man, you've got all sorts of awesome people here. Fred Hooper's here. Fred Hooper. All right. So let's, now, now from here, what we're going to do is we're going to do the nostril right there. I just lost my daughter. We have a nostril right there. It's kind of a big nostril. Now, this is the skeleton, so we're going to cover that up later on, but we know that it's there. And then stop making that noise, goofball. She's trying to be a baby T-Rex. I think she's a baby T-Rex, yeah. And then we're going to draw up from the middle of the mouth up, and we're going to have our socket for her eye. Now, there's another hole back here, and you know what that's for? Just like in a human being, if you put your hand on your head right here. Wait, go get a little lower. Okay, you put your hand on your head right here and open your mouth. Do you feel that? Here, wait. Luna, can you do that? Here, I'm going to... Put the camera over. Okay. Go ahead. Put no, do this head. with your fingers. Put your head on your temple. Do you feel it? Okay, you know why you feel that? 
It's like to your temple. Well, because the bones of your jaw, I mean the muscles of your jaw, come up underneath your cheekbone and attach up here. Okay? So when you move down here, this gets, this moves. So the same way, the dinosaur's jaw is here. Get closer. Whoop. The dinosaur's jaw is here, and that hole here is her temple where these muscles connect. Okay? Whoops. Here, I'm going to see. There, so people can see. It's a, it looks like it's a hole behind the eye. Yep, it's a hole behind the eye socket. It's almost as big as the eye socket. And there you go. You, now I'm going to make it so they can see your paper better. Okay. Now, we'll, do we need to tilt it this way, maybe? To help? No, you're good. Okay. Now, now we've got our basic structure down. And you know what's really funny? What? From this angle, it almost looks like you put two eyes on that side. Right, because this is an eye, and this is the temple. Don't get those mixed up. They're not two eyes. And this is the nostril. The other eye, her other eye is over here on this side. Whoop, there. Somewhere, and we can't see it. So now, we can play around with this and start building our dinosaur. So, we want to put in elbows here. So she's got little elbows and she's going to have little hands. So we'll make little kind of boxes for the hands. They're not even really hands, to be honest. Okay, I'm going to go in really close. That's okay. Little yeah, it's little right tiny here. stuff here. So we'll make little boxes for the hands or little curvy things for the hands. And we can throw little claws on there. Remember, she's got three, at least as far as I can see. So she'll have three. And then we're going to put... I draw dragon talons a lot. You draw dragon talons a lot. Well, these aren't really dragon talons because they're not as big. I'm sure dragons would have much scarier talons than that. Yeah. Okay. Then from here, we're going to go under the rib cage and then into the belly. And I'm assuming that since this is like a dog or another mammal, the belly is, I mean, not another mammal, but another animal, the belly is kind of a little high and tight. So it comes over the rib and then comes in like that. Yeah, it tucks up. It tucks up like that. And then... We go back here to the tail, and we're going to finish out that tail a little bit with a little extra marks there. You know the challenge of drawing a dinosaur? What's that? It's filling a lot of the paper, so it's hard to get it all on camera. That's true. <laughs> well, so if you zoom back. Um, so then we're going to, if you stay there for now, we'll get to the legs, and then you can. So now we're going to do tubes for the legs. And then right about halfway down this triangle that we had for the foot, we're going to let it split off into three toes. So imagine they're standing on their tippy toes. So if you were standing on your tippy toes, just the tips of your toes would be touching the ground. See like that, Luna? Can you make a tippy toe? I'm thirsty. You're thirsty. Oh, well, okay. Here, I'll get so we're going to draw the knuckles here, knuckles there. I'm doing circles for the knuckles. And then we'll do the same on this one, but they're going to be smaller because they're further away. So I'll just go like this. Knuckles. And so forth, like so. And so now we have the back leg. Why, why is that one higher in the back? Oh, it's higher in the back, yeah. Well, because if you're looking at something straight on, which I'm assuming we are, I'm going to okay? Way back so we can see your whole thing. We're looking at something straight on. When we're looking at it straight on, things that are below, so like this is our our view, our vision line or a horizon line, okay? Anything that's below our horizon line is gonna look. It's it's going to go. Uh, try to uh, how do I put it? It's gonna we're gonna see the tops of it, okay? Anything above the horizon line, we're gonna be looking underneath it. So when that happens, when we see the top of something, we're gonna see it like this. So. If we saw my, how do I, I don't know how to describe this easy, but basically when you see things that are below the horizon, you're gonna see them at an angle. Good question, but really hard question to answer. <laughs> Sorry. Thank you very much. Put you on the spot there. Yeah. Um, no, I mean, I, it's funny, I was just teaching this to my drawing class, but it's a very complex answer. And this is, goes into perspective. Um, so let's try to, just trust me that this leg has to be higher because it's further away, okay? Now we're gonna draw our other far leg. <clears throat> now we've got our basic bare bones dinosaur skeleton. So let's get 
some bubbles in here to build the arm up. And the bubbles are, these are, I'm just gonna make this up a little bit because we don't know, but I'm gonna assume that there has to be a deltoid-like structure here, something along the lines of a human body, and then, and then something to connect these claws to that go all the way up to the elbow like on a human arm. So I'm gonna do something like that, and then on the other side I'll do the same thing. I could be wrong, and well, some, I'm, something tells me I am wrong, but it's the best we can do kind of guessing because dinosaurs, we don't really know exactly everything about them. So now we've got the neck. And I'm going to say that this dinosaur has a, this dinosaur rex, we're going to connect the neck to here, but I'm going to make it curve under like that. So it gives a little bit of an impression, like maybe there's a voice box in here and maybe something else going on. So I'll curve it under like so. You got that, Linny? Nope. Oh, you drew off the paper. Oh, no. Yeah. It's Wait, real easy to draw off the paper. Let's go see what she's doing over there. Yep, you're doing great, though. Yep, no, you got the piece connected. Yeah, you got it connected. All right. Now, now I can get into some, some other stuff. We're going to go, we're going to draw some teeth. Now, I'm not going to go and sit down and look at a photo reference for all the teeth, so I'm just going to draw some. They're going to be shaped like triangles curved. All right, they're cones, though. I'm going to do some cones going back, make them look all nasty and gnarly, but they're pretty much a, a very distinct shape. They have that very kind of pointed dinosaurian shape, or more accurately, tyrannosaurian shape. So we're gonna do extra that. Spike because it feels right. An extra spike. What do you mean? Oh, a, a toe. An extra toe because yeah. it feels right. That's probably is right, but I don't know. I haven't seen it. I couldn't see it from where I was. If you look at the anatomy of a yep. dog. Yeah, they it turns probably. If it's it. similar at all to a dog, it'll have that extra toe. You're right. Yeah. You're exactly right. Claw. What? It's called the dew claw. It's called the dew claw. What that really is is their thumb. It's just twisted around to the back. Oh, so around. what I'm doing back here is I'm drawing the teeth. A little smaller, and I'm drawing those as the back teeth. So I can make them dark so those back teeth stay behind. Let's get really close to that because that's okay. Hold on. Uh, this is um, give me a second because the cord got all tangled. There we go. You I got it. Okay. The cord. And I can get in closer so, now a lot more easily. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make these in the back. So basically, so it looks like you made a tooth every other tooth. Right. So every and, other tooth is a little bit smaller. In here than and a little darker and dark, right? And then I'm going to draw the other side of the jaw here so that we can see into his mouth. Now, even though the jaw bone comes up like this, I'm assuming that like us, there's going to be skin coming across like this. So that's what you're going to see his mouth. Okay? And remember, this is still just the basic drawing. Now, let's get his eye. Can we move up or back? You can see his eye really let's, nicely there. Let's put his eye. I'm going to put it kind of in the center of this, but maybe a little bit back of center of that giant orb. Because that, I mean, a giant hole, because that's his brow, um, not his brow, his eye socket. Or her eye socket. Sorry. Sorry, Sue. Don't mean to insult you. You're scary. And meh. I'm going to put a little eye in there. Meh. Did you just meh, Sue? She's that gigantic dinosaur. You can't meh, Sue. Yeah, but I have more dexterity. Uh, they're really fast. Do you know that? Yeah, but they can run. They can run faster than Blossom. Really? Yeah. Oh, you, Blossom you, is um is our greyhound. Blossom is our greyhound, and a Tyrannosaurus Rex is so big, it could run faster than a greyhound, which is the fastest, anim one of the fastest animals on the earth right now. What about a cheetah? Tyrannosaurus Rex is probably faster than a cheetah. Cheetahs can go up to forty-five, no, seventy-five miles an hour. From what I remember, Tyrannosaurus rexes are, are, they estimate, because of the way they were standing, if they were right that they stand like that, then they could run at super fast. And plus, since they were so big, right, they didn't have to run, they didn't have to run as hard to run as fast as a, as a cheetah. So they could probably catch, they could probably chase a cheetah, catch it, and run past it. All right, so. Well, let's see. Um, that's a guess. On, some suggest that it might have hit as high speeds over 65 kilometers per hour, which is 40 miles per hour. Oh, really? Okay, well, I'm wrong. A little slower. All right. So that's, well, top, that's at their sprint speed. That's a guess, though. 
it's all guesses now. Yeah, because it's all guesses. You can't actually put a T Rex out yeah. on a road to well, I'm going to say they're faster. That's my guess. <laughs> well, no, you're longer. right. If the science, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. The legs are longer, so, you know. But the scientists probably know best, so we'll say that the scientists know that, that a tiger, I mean, a, a leopard could get away, but our dog could not, and neither could I. They would catch me and have me for a snack. So, Matt Wang says, this is awesome. <laughs> hey, Matt. How you doing? So I'm going to zoom back a little bit. We'll get to the head, more of the head here. So now that we've got the head in there, I'm going to start pulling out my colored pencil and start I'm to get a little bit. Rex outrun the flash, though? Uh, probably not. The flash is fake, though. That's the thing. I think I'm more impressed by a creature that's real that can run 45 miles an hour than a fake character on a superhero character that oh, that can run a thousand miles an hour, just because True. <laughs> this guy could really do it, you yeah. know. <laughs> so but. I'm gonna let, let's get into the eyes and stuff because I don't want to lose time here. So remember, we draw eyes. We always draw the eyes with the we draw from the corner, we draw over, and we draw over. The upper lid always over the uh, over the under lid. Sorry, your camera person here is having some. Difficulty. Yeah, you're having a lot of difficulty today. We haven't had this much trouble before. Well, because I had it set up higher before. There we go. Ah, uh, okay. That's a little better. So you want to imagine you're drawing over the eye, and then under the eye. And notice, I don't know why they think this, but they're pretty certain that the, that the eye opening for a T Rex is really small. There we go. Your tripod's so, starting to fall apart. Oh no. Oh, got it. So the eye is pretty small. So in that eye, I'm going to take, make a little triangle because I'm just going to assume he has lizard eyes. So he's going to have these triangular lizard eyes. Uh, oh, okay. And then I'm going to start. I imagine that all this is folds. So it is dragons. Under yeah. his eyes? Well, yeah. Well, dragons are based a lot on things like Tyrannosaurus Rex, at least yeah. modern day. Like if you were to go back in time and talk to someone 500 years ago about a dragon, they say it had goat head and and lizard talons and like all kinds of crazy stuff. I mean, they kind of do. Whereas they in the last, have other yeah, but in the last hundred years we've pretty much made them into giant reptiles. But if you go back to if you go back to like medieval times, they said they like horse parts and dog parts and goat parts in a dragon, not just not just lizards. So it's, it's interesting, we've kind of gone to this lizard thing with dragons, but historically, historically even a griffin would have probably been considered a dragon at one point because they considered anything a dragon that was kind of one of these weird creatures. So anyway, I'm, what I'm doing now is I'm drawing inside the eye socket and I'm gonna shade that in a little bit so that we know that that's the inside of the eye socket right here. And I wanna make it dark so that you can see him kind of being mean and scary looking at you like mm, lunch and I'm going to draw along the eye socket here just to kind of give myself some extra lines for uh, to show the cheekbone area which would be right about here okay see and then this up here I'm going to make this a nice big bony ridgy thing and put some scales on it that's his brow so if you were to touch right above your eye where your eyebrow is that's what this area is on the T-Rex. So now I'm going to retrace these drawing, these lines here. And I'm going to come down to here and I'm going to make a smaller opening for his nostril. And I don't know if you remember, but we did this last week with the dragon. We kind of did a backwards C and then we're going to make that backwards C, kind of like a Nike swoosh. And then a Nike swish with an extra thing in the middle. And that kind of makes it have that sense that we're creating like a, a cave-like shape for the nostril. And over here, we'll let it go out like that. And that little ridge here is kind of indicating that this is sticking out, that the nostril sticks out a little bit. And we can draw around like that. So now, actually, I'm going to make this even smaller. Make his eye even smaller. It makes him creepier looking. And then now, so let's see. Here, I want to start the mouth back here, but I'm not just going to let it follow along that line. I'm going to bring it up and around and down 
just to make it kind of interesting, like, ooh. And then from here on the other side, from the bottom, I'm gonna take it and we're gonna go down and up to here, okay? So that, that just basically makes it a big, scary mouth and kind of implying that there's lips there. And maybe you can put a little marks on the edge of this to kind of make it feel like it's three-dimensional. Remember those, those dotted lines that we do to draw around things? So we're gonna do that here. And then, right in here, this is the, the muscles that connect the, uh, the jaw to the, uh, to the top of the head. So we're gonna see the interior of these muscles. These are the, the muscles I was talking about before that come up here. So these are the muscles on the mandible, or the jaw. So I'm, we're gonna see some of those peeking through. And then I'm gonna draw the underside, I mean the, uh, the upper edge of this lower lip, like that here. Now, I'm gonna start doing these teeth. And I can bring the teeth out. If you can hear drumming back there, that's my son in the basement. Being uh, super loud. Being super loud, yeah. So what I'm doing here is I'm turning these into two cones. And, but notice I'm turning it, like I'm, I'm shaping it like that to make it look like there's gums. So I'm making the top of these cones kind of have an angled feel so that they go into the gum like they insert in. So if you look at people's teeth, they have that arc. So I'm doing the same thing here with this guy. Now that may not be accurate because you know I'm not a scientist, but uh, I am gonna do this because I'm drawing a fun fantasy T-Rex, not necessarily a real T-Rex. But like... If I was a scientist, I might go, oh, Steve, they don't have gums like that. But um, well, I don't care. I'm gonna draw some little ridges up here to make his eyebrow look cool. Sometimes art doesn't necessarily doesn't necessarily get the full benefit of being uh, science. <laughs> oh, yeah. So now we're gonna do the opposite teeth on the bottom here. We'll do the same thing. We'll draw them so we can have little gums. It leaves kind of a little triangle down here between the gums where the teeth come out. So I'm drawing around each tooth, down, and then, does anyone have any questions? If anyone does, just please ask. Um, Mila's gonna be checking them for me, so. Now. Oh, I did check one thing. What's that? So Greyhound's top speed is 45 miles an hour. Uh-huh. Which is the same as the top speed as T-Rex. So you okay. can get a Greyhound and a T-Rex in a head-to-head -head race and they would tie. They would tie. Um, that means they're faster than horses. No, no, no. Horses are faster than greyhounds. No, I, I saw a race where a, a race of a Kentucky Derby winning horse lost against a greyhound. Okay, well, according to Wikipedia, horses can Never. top at 50 miles an hour, which is a little bit faster than the average greyhound speed. And then um, there are a couple of pronghorn antelope creatures mm -hmm. that can get to 55. Okay. And then cheetahs get to 65. You're ruining my love of greyhounds by I'm saying sorry. there's things faster. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> well, the only thing's fast. Okay, horses are a little faster. Um, and this horn-rimmed the, the pronghorn, glasses creature. The pronghorn and the cheetah. Well, I think it's kind of makes sense that they're they're both really fast because the one preys on the other. Oh, okay. Yeah, so, that makes uh, sense. They kind of co-evolved in that way. Sure. Okay, so remember those gray teeth I had in the back? Well, right now I'm going to go in. One thing I'm going to do first is I'm going to draw a curvy thing between the teeth. Here, can you guess what that curvy thing is, Lena? The gum on the other side. It's the tongue, the tongue, and around the tongue, I'm gonna fill in with dark. So you'll see if I could do this. I'm gonna make a dogish tongue. A dogish tongue? Yeah. Like long sticking out. <laughs> yeah, you could do that. I think my T-Rex is gonna be scary, so he's not gonna have a dogish tongue. Not. I think your T-Rex is looking pretty good. I think my T-Rex is going to be. A dog T-Rex hybrid thing. Okay. So we've got our fangs on the other side, and we're making them dark so that they look like they're in the inside of the mouth or on the far side of the mouth. So yeah, it's an illusion that we create by using sh shadows. We can create the illusion that they're behind these teeth. And similarly, we're going to go down here to the neck, and we're going to create another illusion here. I'm going to create a little bit. I'm going to darken this area right underneath here. And notice that by doing that, it makes it feel like 
the head is sitting on top of the neck. And I'll bring some skin like this. You see that, Luna? And these are, I'm gonna bring these up because these makes me think of an, a human muscle called a sternocleidomastoideus that goes here um, and it connects into the clavicle. And I'm just gonna say that they have them even though I don't know if they did. They probably had something like it because this is what allows you to turn your head, these muscles here. So I'm gonna say that they probably did have something along the lines of that so that they could turn their head. Otherwise, their head would be stiff. So now his little teeny brain goes up here. We're gonna draw a the crest of the temple, which is this area here, on the side of his head there, and then the back of the head. Rah, I got a back of my head now. And if you want, you can start decorating down here with some lines like this, just to give it some texture. Do, 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 and maybe some scales and some more textures. Dun, 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 dun. Wonder Woman. I don't know why I'm singing Wonder Woman, but I am. It's Wonder Dinosaur. Wonder Dinosaur. Okay, so now we've got, no. now the upper two thing, I'm gonna make this nice and thick in some areas where it goes up, and thin where it goes down, and thick where it goes up to make it feel three-dimensional. And I'm gonna do the same down here. It's gonna go thicker where it goes down, thicker where it goes down, thinner when it goes up. So it makes it feel like it's going but that, around. That was reversed. It is the reverse. It's the reverse. Because on top, you want to see the underside of it. But on the bottom, you want to see the top side of it. Please don't lean on me when I'm trying to draw. So now under here, I'm going to draw some big fat scales. And I'm going to draw them all the way down until we hit this clavicle. So if you feel the center of your neck, where your neck meets your chest, you'll feel two bumps on either side of it. That's your clavicle bone. And the dinosaurs have this, or the, the, the Pteranosaurus rex has that. So that's this thing here. Now, I don't know if they call it a clavicle because frequently they call them different things when they're dealing with uh, different animals. But I'm going to call it clavicle because it's similar to what we have. So I think we need to zoom back a little bit, you know what? Okay. Or maybe not. Here we go. How are we doing? You want to see the whole body? I want to see more of the body down here. Okay. Okay. Is it up a little bit? I'll just tilt this up. I can tilt this up. Oh, okay. It's easier to tilt the camera than that. All right, now, so now we're in the middle of the body. So we got the head done. That's the most fun part. This is the boring part, just the body. Not really. I'm just kidding. So his shoulder bone comes back here. And on a human, that would be this back here, which is our scapula. So this would be our his scapula here. And then you've got his spine that comes all the way up like this. And then it goes over his hip like that and we're going to connect this to this with this line to the front of his leg and when things when there's skin that folds like this you tend to get little pinched fold areas so i'm going to draw a pinched fold in here and i do that by making it darker down here and kind of drawing a y and i'll draw another one down here so like extra wise and i'll bring that down to his knee it's extra wise. Yeah, I know. And then, okay, so I'm going to move back over here to the arms. Now, that doesn't look great because right now it looks like this arm is on the same side of the body as this arm, and that doesn't really make sense. So, in order to fix that, I'm going to draw the chest here, and I'm going to bring the chest around so we know his ribs are in here. And so because we know his ribs are in here, I'm just going to do a little indication of uh, of ribs there just for fun. Just using these things to kind of give it the idea of ribs. And then I'm going to draw the belly that goes under. And you make the lines that go under heavier in this case. Now, we have to draw the arm. I'm going to draw the arm light on top. And I'm going to give it extra folds because... I don't know why, but whenever they draw dinosaurs, they give them extra folds as if they had loose skin. So I'm just going to follow convention and I'm going to give him loose dinosaur skin. So I'll have this loose kind of craggy skin coming up like this. And then we're going to get to the elbow. Doo -doo -doo. Elbow, just like ours. It's a little bone where two bones meet. One bone coming this way and another bone going that way. So now we're going to draw the arm. And then let's get... Some knuckles in here. Where'd my partner go? 
And then we'll go and we'll do, this is getting really small in here, but we're gonna see one knuckle, two knuckles, claw. One knuckle, two knuckles, and the third knuckle has the claw. Right there. One knuckle, oh shoot, that's really close. Those three gloves, claw. So see, like that. And we'll do the same thing on the other side. Do, do, do. We're going to draw these tubes out. We're just going to outline the tubes like we did before. And then on this side we go one knuckle, two knuckle, third knuckle claw. All right, I'm going to even go in. <laughs> this knuckle we don't see. So one knuckle here, two knuckle, third knuckle claw. One knuckle, two knuckle third knuckle claw and we'll just draw underneath these fingers because the fatty side of the fingers is on the bottom so we'll draw that the fatty side and on the front here we'll just put the claws in like so Ooh, you're knocking me around here like this I'm just adding some more lines because I'm assuming that they had little ridges on, on their arm like where we do where our tendons are that control our fingers so okay, so we got our hands in there. Let's zoom back out. Whoop. How much more time do we have? Just so I know. Five minutes. We're Only five minutes. Four minutes. Three Holy minutes. cow! Really? What? 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 It's uh, yeah. It's two forty-two. So that's three. Okay. Left. Well, here. Let's get this done then. So we're gonna go down around the ankle, down to the toes, and we'll draw over the toe, Dad, what knuckle. About the, uh, Two knuckle, three knuckle claw. Dad, what about the fourth claw? We will. I didn't see it in the photo, so I'm not sure in the in the photo of the. I don't know if they have them, but we can try it. If you want to put a fourth claw in, I would put it back here. But I don't think that is, I don't think Tyrannosaurus Rex had that, but I'm not sure. Maybe someone else can do some research and find out if Tyrannosaurus Rex had that. So again, knuckle, 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 mm. knuckle, 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 and then. The third knuckle with the claw. And I draw these as like little triangles that are sitting on top of the toes. And I'll do the same on this back one. But since it's further away, we're not gonna see them as well. So we'll have one, two, and the third one should be up here, I guess. Three, and then one, two, three, one, two, three. Sorry, we wasted some time earlier today trying to get ourselves set up, sadly. So I didn't have as much time to draw. So now we're the this part of the leg meets that part of the leg. We're gonna do a fold and then draw there. And then we'll do a fold and trace that. And then the tail. We'll just follow the lines that we created before. Now I, I curved the tail because I figured I'm going off the paper, so why not? Zoom. Now, we got the whole dinosaur in, but now maybe you want to decorate the dinosaur. So let's give them maybe, you know, we can give them like a spot here, and maybe a spot there, so and a I spot here. Like, we could give them there. feathers because they, they think that maybe the Tyrannosaurus Rex had feathers. They're not really sure. Um, How do you, you think can give them feathers. Bird, okay, so you know that birds are descended from dinosaurs, right? Yeah, yeah. Or they co they co evolved with mm -hmm. dinosaurs, I would say. Okay, so we're gonna encourage everybody to take their either colored pencils or inking materials and go over their favorite lines. Yep, go over your favorite lines, the lines you choose. Make sure you get them if they're if they're underneath the creature, make them thicker. If they're where two objects meet, make them thicker. So. If it's under, on the underside of, say, the feet here, you can make it darker lines. If it's the underside of the tail, make it darker lines. You mean the butt? No, uh, yeah. If the if the if this is overlapping, well, yeah, make it darker underneath it. Butts. If this is overlapping, well, they had they had the parts for butts, but <laughs> you know. And then for the back leg, let's shade this in. Make it look like it's in the back. Ooh. And then we'll shade the back arm in too. Make it feel like it's in the back. And we can shade under here a little bit. 
and a little under the tail to make that feel like it's twisting around like so. All right. So All right. we have so a dinosaur. We have a dinosaur. Can and oh, and don't forget, oh. yeah, we'll show Luna's dinosaur. Luna went off the page a little bit, but I will show Luna's dinosaur. Yeah. She's not really done. She kind of gave up a little bit. No, I think I it's because of the face. No, you didn't? Okay. Well, she has to, to finish it, but she's still working on it. I'm really excited about seeing what she does. Oh, the last finishing touch, right? You got it. Well, two things. Add a frame. You got to add a frame. Do this. So I'm going to put a frame around him, yep. her, whatever. Shh. I already signed it. I signed it at the beginning. I don't know why I did that. I make these noises all the time when I'm drawing. Do you also the noises you make while you draw? So there's our frame. <laughs> and then sign it. Steve. Don't sign it Steve, though, because that's my name. Sign it with your own name. And I always sign with an exclamation point because I just had fun. Yes. All right? All right, so everyone, post your drawings. Post your drawings and uh, sign up on the YouTube under Hyper Steve, I think it is, no, or Steve Ellis Steve. Artist, or Steve Ellis Art. It's one of those things. No, it's if you Steve follow the links Ellis. here, you can do it, because if I get enough people doing that, I'll be able to do YouTube Live, which will be uh, better. It's like... It'll reach more people. It'll reach more people, and we'll be able to show it to more people. Okay? Thank you very much, and have a great drawing day. Bye-bye. Do 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 that's our takeout music. Do 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 that's our going away music. Yeah. Going away music. It's it now. It's fun. Going away music. It's funny. Are we done recording now? We are. Oh good. <laughs> Alright. Fifteen minutes break. Yay, ten minutes actually, probably. Mommy drawings are on the floor. Oh,